So they wrapped it up. To the ladder and look at Wales the... Wales and his four children, the tin lids. The only member of the family not on stage is Jimmy's wife, Jane. But as you're about to see, she does more than just hold this remarkable family together. She's a business success in her own right. There's no peas left. Yeah, you can put them in with that. That's a good idea. There is peas left. Not many. Well, not very many. And there's not just enough for 20 The Tin Lids are now famous Australian entertainers with TV appearances, video clips and cassette and CD releases of the songs in their repertoire. You know, it would be silly to ignore their dad, Jimmy Barnes's fame, gave them an instant public curiosity. But their career is now firmly in the hands of their mother and manager, Jane. Jane has spent most of her life in Australia, but there are still touches of her native Thailand, shoes off at the door, Buddhist icons, and of course, Thai food. You just brush it on while it's cooking, like you lay that all flat and then you just brush it in the She's credited with taming one of Aussie's wildest men of rock and roll, Jimmy Barnes. They have four children, Mahalia, 11. DJ, please put this in the fridge for me. Eliza Jane, eight. Jackie, seven. Hello, would you like to help me with the dessert? Or do you want to keep drawing? I'll draw for All right. And little Ellie Mae, just four. <laughs> for Jimmy and Jane, the chaos of the concert has now become the chaos in the kitchen. These children have certainly changed their lives. Once they came, you know, I, I don't know. It's like they've always been there. And, and I don't really think about life before they came. <laughs> All right, you peel them and I'll come. All right? I too became involved in this feast for family and friends, barbecuing the eggplant. Looking under the good. very strict supervision of Jimmy Barnes. Put them to one side and keep the others all... Keep the others just in a pile here down the bottom here. Yeah. Okay. Great, looking yep. good. Thank you. Well, you get a job, didn't <laughs> In the kitchen on days like this, this rock and roller calls the tune. Yeah, this is just the, the very bottom, Jane, because it looks good, that looks pretty well done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. I don't want to cool it much longer. No, you don't want it to cool down either, so no. just keep it in the bottom. And believe it or not, he works to the background music of one of his favourite composers, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Is he a good cook? He's an excellent cook, actually. He's very good. He, he started cooking when I um, had the first baby and, uh, you know, was so preoccupied with her and so busy with the new baby that he cooked for the first three months of her life. But um, he um, just ha seems to have a flair for it. Because if you use good ingredients, you know, it just makes your cooking taste so much better. Tell you. Good olive oil makes all the difference. I love getting Eventually, 20 or so friends and family arrived for a special Mother's Day celebration, and we were also made welcome. The meal was delicious, and Jimmy shared some of his culinary secrets of success with his mum. I don't think you can do stir it across the mum, just like torn off, I'm exhausted. Yeah. yeah, otherwise it would stick, wouldn't it? It sticks really easy, because you've got to cook it from scratch, it's not like you boil the rice first. Jane Barnes is a very creative person. She designed the additions to the family home, making it a lot, lot larger, but without losing its original country farmhouse feel. She also designed the little rock shop at Liverpool, unashamedly dedicated to her idea that children should have places of their own. The shop is just a, a small part of the Little Rock concept, which uh, it's something that I've created with the children for, for them, you know, for kids. I just sort of feel that it's an area that's um, a bit neglected in the market and just, for, uh, you know, things for them. Like, for instance, the shop in Liverpool, that's a space for children, for kids. It's not surprising in this shop to see some Barnes family cross-promotion. And 
But as for her children, Jane says she doesn't want to lock any of them into a predetermined career. But she does try to offer them as many opportunities as possible. One is workshopping a children's TV program. How are you? And all have fun. <laughs> They're working with drama teacher John Noble, actress Belinda Hode, and assistant Simone. Here, the children are creating their own show and all its characters. Who would you tell your secrets to out of these characters? Which one? Mr. Sad. Mr. Sad. Mr. Sad. Mm. Would you agree with that? Yeah, because you wouldn't talk to That's anybody. Very important, I think. Oh, you, you really believe that their opinion is worth listening to? Yes, of course. It's the only way I could see it working, you know, without pressure on them. They have to want to do it. They have to be interested in doing it. Otherwise, you know, there's no point for me in, in trying to do that. That's why we have the workshop where we're going to see, work out how it's going to move. It's quite interesting watching it evolve. I mean, they've got their own ideas mm -hmm. already and yes. each, as to what they, what they want on television. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just a matter of drawing it out and, and just working with them. And if nothing comes of it, you know, we've still all learned something. And one thing Jane and Jimmy Barnes have learned most of all is despite the pressures of separate showbiz careers, keeping the family unit together in the home is the most important thing of all. You find that the only time that we have together is um, at meal times when they're at school, even if we weren't working, that's the case, let alone when we are both working so hard. Um, so the kitchen and the meal time is very important. That's why we have a big kitchen. That's where we usually get together. birth continues.